Well, a lack of security at the U.S. consulate in Benghazi left four Americans dead and four State Department employees without a job, or so we thought. According to the New York Post, those security officials who were sacked after the release of the Benghazi report are still on the government's payroll and will be back to work soon. Joining us is the chairwoman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Ileana Roz Leighton. She joins us today. Congresswoman, good to see you this morning. Thank you. Good morning. I know you are not happy about the news of this at all. How do you describe it? This is unbelievable. The American people should be outraged at this because it is pathetic. It's disgraceful. It is purposely misleading. It is a ruse, smoke and mirrors. I mean, this is so wrong for the State Department to do. What did they do? Well, it's just one more lie in a web of lies w dealing with the uh, terrorist attack in the, the consulate in Benghazi, Libya. As you know, and you've reported on it, uh, first, uh, so many, administ uh, so many high-level administrators said, oh, this was a, a spontaneous demonstration uh, as a result of, uh, of outrage about a video that attacked the, the Prophet uh, Mohammed. None of that was true. It was labeled a terrorist attack from day one, but the administration wanted to paint a narrative that everything was fine in Libya. So now we have yet another attempt to purposely misdirect the American public. Why? Because the spokesman... Uh, a spokeswoman for the uh, State Department said uh, the secretary has accepted the resignation of Eric Boswell, a high-level security official. Uh, his res she's accepted his resignation, and then she said, and the other three individuals who are mentioned in the mm -hmm. ARB, the, the Benghazi report, have been relieved of their current duties. It gave everyone the impression that four individuals had resigned as a result of their mismanagement of this terrorist attack in Benghazi, when in fact we now find out that all of them are still on the payroll. Uh, one of them has, uh, yes, been resigned from his uh, position as uh, deputy secretary, but he's got a lot of other titles as well. So they just shifted the deck chairs, and they want to make the American people believe that the State Department has held people accountable for their lack of security and sending help to four brave Americans. Okay. This is incredibly inept of the State Department to think that they continue to fool the American public. Pathetic. Congresswoman, I, I hear your passion loud and clear. Uh, also, to your point, there were some systemic failures that took place here to begin with in terms of diplomatic security, making sure that the consulate was, was uh, heavily fortified or well guarded in an area that was so rife with uh, Al Qaeda operatives and other, and other bad insurgents, and then the fact that it was on 9 11. Unbelievable. Yes, that's why uh, the the uh, report on Benghazi clearly points out that there was a dismissal of intelligence reports that clearly pointed out that we were headed for trouble in Benghazi. And then the, the ARB, which is the Benghazi report, states that without using their names but their titles, that these individuals, and I quote, they lack proactive leadership and management ability related to Benghazi. So as a result of that report, then the Sp uh, State Department spokeswoman says these four individuals, they make it appear to be that they're no longer on the payroll, yet they right. are. And I well, also... Congresswoman, uh, let me ask uh, you real quickly. I, I don't want to interrupt, but I've got, I've got to get ready to go. Sure. But I want to ask you about uh, the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. Uh, we understand that some Republicans may try to block uh, or voting on or confirming uh, the, the nomination for the Secretary of State uh, in John Kerry until Hillary Clinton actually testifies uh, before uh, the committee on what took place in Benghazi, what her role may or may not have been. What do you say to that? Correct. That I think that they're right to do so. Uh, Secretary Clinton will be coming up to D.C. She must testify about Benghazi and now must testify about this other web of lies. They could be mincing words and parsing words and say, well, we didn't really say that they're no longer on the payroll, but they sure made it sound that way. So she's got a lot of uh, explaining to do, and, uh, and I think that the senators okay. are correct in doing so. We expect Secretary Clinton to testify before our committee by mid-January, and here's another lie and another misdirection that she's right. got to account for. Congresswoman, we thank you for joining us today. Congresswoman thank Roz Layton and joining us today. Uh, have a good day.